So, you've just got a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and you don't have any music on the tapes. Well, I'm going to show you how to record music from a digital source, such as in my example, a computer, to analog tape. Now, obviously, there's fancier ways of doing this, but this is the easiest method that anyone can do at home without being hectically over the top audio file hi-fi system person okay let's crack on with what you might need is a cable that goes from two rca plugs which is your left and your right channel to a 3.5 millimeter jack now i know that this is not the fanciest looking creature that lives under the sea um but look it's decent um and i know that i'm not recording at the higher speed I'm going to be recording at one of the lower speeds, so don't shoot me, okay? Don't kill me, please. So, you're probably wondering what in the hell is that cable running from your computer to your reel-to-reel? -reel? Well, that cable is two RCA jacks, which you must have plugged into the input left and right of your reel-to-reel. -reel. And those must go to a 3.5mm audio jack, which must plug into the line output jack of your computer the line output jack of your computer not the headphone jack not the headphone jack on your cell phone because if you plug it into the headphone jack on your computer cell phone or laptop it's going to sound like this yeah Basically, it's going to have that high-pitched buzzing noise throughout the silent parts of your recording. That is why we use the line output. Now, before you complain, my reel-to-reel -reel has got three speeds, okay? Your reel-to-reel -reel might have more speeds. So, the lower speed is 1 and 7 8 inches per second. And that is mostly for voice recordings, dictator, nonsense, or if you want to record really crappy music that you're going to play in the background. It's not going to sound great, in other words, if you want to record music like that. Um, then you get three and three quarters inches per second, which is uh, sort of better um, for if, if you want to record a lot of music, but you want it to sound good. Um, and then we've got seven and a half inches per second, which basically means that the music is going to sound pretty much indistinguishable. Um, well, that's for me. Um, and that will play for a short amount of time. So as we go up the speeds, the amount of uh, recording time we've got on the tape decreases. So in my case, I would be recording at seven and a half inches per second, but the capacitor on the motor of my reel-to-reel -reel has fucking blown. So it can now only record at three and three quarters inches per second. So that's fine. Let's crack onwards. Now, obviously what we need to do is we need to turn our reel-to-reel -reel tape player on. Okay. And in my case, um, I need to make sure the correct speed is selected, which in my case is low. Next, what we want to do is reset our tape counter so that we know where we are in life. Um, and then we want to put our unit in record, but we want it to be paused as well. So usually your pause control would be disengaged like that. So I'm going to engage my pause control and then I'm going to put it into play. And then press the record button, your record release, and then put it into record. That's what we want to do first. Now, usually people, my audiophile friends, uh, like to download high quality uh, FLAC, F-L-A-C-C recordings or what have you. Well, I've been recording from MP3s and to my 20 year old ears, it sounds perfectly fine. However, because I'm taking the lazy route today, I've just got something from the YouTube audio library, which is literally just a video. And I'm playing that directly back. What I like to do is keep the volume on my computer at about three quarters, so at about 75. It seems to work best in my experience. 
I'm going to press play on this and then we shall adjust the recording level. Okay, so basically what happens here is we need to make sure that these recording meters, these VU meters, um, are going to be hitting the red end, which is at the top. So they must only hit the red at the loudest part of the songs, like literally just hit it, not even go into it. They can go into it very slightly, so don't shoot yourself, but try not to make them go into it. So, of course, if you know the loudest part of your song, then you can just skip to it and check, but I've never heard the song in my life, so this looks good for my purposes. Cool. Now, I'm going to walk over to my computer and rewind my song, and then I'm going to hit pause. Now, on my reel-to-reel, -reel, I'm going to release the pause lever so that it is busy recording, and then I'm going to press play on the computer, like that. And then, we should see the recording coming through the VU meters. This is the soft part of the song, so don't start to want to murder me. I shall be back with you in about three minutes. Okay, so when your recording's done, you can press pause and go into stop. And then you can release your pause. And then we're going to put it into rewind. But before we move it into rewind, you need to keep an eye on your tape counter. Because we need the tape counter to say 000, zero, zero so that we know we're at the beginning of what we recorded. Okay, I just about made it. Now, again, the recording isn't going to sound great because I'm recording it from my camera. So, when I press play, you aren't getting a direct feed of the sound. You are listening to it through a microphone on a camera. And as you can tell already, the microphone on this camera is not great. So, let's get cracking. Put it into pause, press play, this is what I like to do, then release pause. I will say it again, to your ears that might not have sounded brilliant, but to my ears that sounds near fucking perfect. So, that was fairly successful. And that is how you record music on a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder.